Hey guys, I'm back at Section 8 Airsoft again, just outside Shorts in Scotland, and today with Owen we're going to take a look at his AGM MG42, which is an absolute beast of a gun, but we'll let Owen talk to you about that gun and tell you all about it. So we've already established it's the, the AGM MG42. Are you able to give us a description of what it's made of? Is this a, a full metal replica or are we looking at a plastic machine gun here, Owen? Uh, no, it's uh, full metal. Uh real wood but so it's a real wood stock as well uh -huh. at the back brilliant how heavy would you say it is uh, it's between uh, 10 to 12 pounds i would say so we're looking at the the weight of a good sized toddler that's had his breakfast <laughs> Very nice. do you find it tiring to carry it in game or are you use it in the prone position a lot uh, mostly in prone uh, it does get tiring walking to and from games uh, Rest on his, on his shoulder. Right. I've only ever seen one of these elsewhere in Scotland and it wasn't the AGM model. Where did you actually buy this? I uh, bought this uh, from uh, um, Midas Airsoft, which is owned by Neil Hogan, right. who okay. also owns Section 8. So the owner of Section 8 uh -huh. who uh, runs Midas Airsoft. And how much did you pay for it? Uh, 450. 450. Now, looking at this, we can see there's a, a drum magazine on the side of it. Is this a, a high capacity drum mag? Uh, aye, that is that. It's uh, it hodge 2000 to 2500 BBs. And how quickly do you go through those BBs? Are you finding that on full auto it's going through them at the same rate as the, the genuine weapon, or is it a bit slower? It's a little bit slower. It's a little say. bit slower, uh -huh. cool. Uh, battery wise, where's the battery contained in this? Uh, the batteries are contained in here, there's actually one at the back here and a small one that's velcroed, which Neil actually fixed for us, Right, fixed up, and also takes four AA batteries inside the, the magazine. Four AA batteries. Brilliant. Now, I noticed that there's uh, not a strap on this. Is that because you've found it easier to carry it without a strap? Or did the real weapon just get carried about manually? It get carried about with a strap in, in, in World War II, but most most troops carried it just on their shoulder. It was a lot easier to do than rather than humping it about on a strap. And is that an experience that you've got as well, finding that it's easier just to manoeuvre it about yourself? Aye. Brilliant. And how would, how would you rate the gun, I mean, in terms of reliability, out of 10? Uh, I would give it a, an 8. An 8. So why would you not go as far as 10? Uh, I think it just, it would probably need a slightly better hop up and maybe a tight more barrel just to get that extra range that I'm basically really looking for in a, in a heavy so just to give it that extra little bit of impetus, you're looking uh -huh. at a, a better hop unit and a, a tight bore barrel. Uh -huh. Is that something that you're considering doing? Uh, in future, right. In future, right. right. Well, thanks very much, Owen. Uh, no problem. Uh, it's a beautiful weapon, and no doubt we'll see it in gameplay at some point. Thanks again for watching, folks, and thanks very much to Owen and the guys at Section 8 Airsoft. <laughs>